Hello everybody, action figure expert here, bringing to you a little review on the Unleashed Marvel Legend Iron Man, aka the Extremis Armor. Take a close look at the detail on this Iron Man. If you don't know much about the Unleashed line, they are mainly into scale with 8 inch figures. If you uh, got any Marvel Select figures, this particular Iron Man would fit right in with them. Take a look at his mask. His chest plate. He's got some flat power pods right there on his waist. Some indentation on his thighs there. He comes with this lovely... Um, smokescreen booster base right here see the flames from his rocket boots with a cloud of smoke underneath it comes with these removable fire effects one which goes into this cannon on his right arm and one that goes into his palm from his repulsor beams into his left. It's cool looking cool looking shoulder pads there. And this gun is actually pretty nice. He's got three actually four cables which lead from the gun to his back. very lovely figure. I personally didn't pick up too much of the Unleashed Unleashed figures mainly because they weren't into scale with with regular Marvel Legends but uh, Iron Man was an exception and, uh, let's uh, go over some of the articulation alright he's a uh, He's got 28 points of articulation. Let me remove him off this base here. He's got a swivel right there, as well as a side to side on his foot. He's actually got a double jointed knee, but since his, his calf right there is so thick, you really can't make use of that lower joint, which is a shame. And he's got a ball hinged thigh joint there. Unfortunately, no mid mid thigh swivel there. He's got articulation on the wrists. These, of course, are removable, as you saw. He's got a single elbow joint, and he's got a swivel. Technically, a ball hinged elbow and a ball hinged shoulder there. He's got a mid-body um, ball joint left and right front and back and he's got a ball jointed head. Very nice. He's got a fist right there on, uh, on his right hand and that like I said that cool looking gun right there one thing that sort of sucks is he's got this hole over here on his left arm which was most likely meant for another gun or you could make it optional to put this gun onto his left but personally it would have been cool if he came with with two of these guns right here one to put on the left and his right arms but, uh, yeah there's my little view on his articulation there. Overall, it's a pretty nice figure. It didn't sit in regular stores too long. I actually found this at um, at a Marshalls slash TJ Maxx. This this figure originally went for around twenty dollars in places like Walmart, but uh, Walmart. 
wasn't selling the Unleashed figures that well, so a bunch of liquidation stores like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross got a hold of uh, this particular figure, and uh, I was lucky to get them for nine. Nine ninety nine at the time. And uh yeah, there's my little review on this Iron Man figure. Overall detail, I definitely give him a ten. Articulation, he's got he's got decent articulation. The only thing about about the few that I've opened up, because I've gotten I've gotten like three of him. I want to customize one into War Machine colors and maybe a stealth colored one is that some of the joints I, I don't want to say that they're weak but they seem like they're fragile when you try to move them uh, you know they feel like they're gonna break on you instantly uh, usually I don't criticize a figure like that unless I got several of them open and in this case I got like I said I got three of him open and and all the joints seem to be about the same so articulation for for what he has is nice but the uh, the stability on the articulation is a little weak so I, I only give his articulation like a six but, uh, um, availability he, like I said he didn't sit in regular stores like Walmart that long so the availability is probably, I'll only give him like a, a 5, you know, unless you definitely got a TJ Maxx or a Marshall sitting around somewhere. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, my little review on this Extremist Armor Iron Man. Alright, thanks for watching.